Our unsung hero is Henrietta Lacks, who is a major contributor in the fields of science and medicine. This video will cover who she was, why she's important, and how she's affected the development of medicine. Henrietta was a 31-year-old African-American woman who was living in 1950s America. Unfortunately, she and many other African-Americans at the time lived in poverty. On January the 4th, 1951, Lacks was diagnosed with cervical cancer. So what is cancer? It's the uncontrolled growth of cells which causes tumours to form. Cells can be tested to determine whether they're cancerous during a biopsy. That's when a small sample of living tissue is taken from a patient for analysis in a lab. Sadly, Henrietta died in August due to her aggressive cancer. But her cells lived on, becoming the first human cells to be cloned, and later on commercially produced on a massive scale. The cells were nicknamed HeLa after Henrietta's name. See, the special thing about HeLa cells is that they skip the process of apoptosis, which is programmed cell death, technically making them immortal. HeLa cells are experimented on regularly in labs for a wide range of research. They're used in creating many vaccines, for example polio, testing the effects of radiation, and even gene mapping, an up-and-coming field of medicine. If a vaccine's being developed, chances are HeLa cells are being used to test it. Lasting effects. Unfortunately, due to deeply entrenched racist attitudes at the time, African Americans in particular weren't compensated for their often invaluable contributions to science and medicine. Consequently, Henrietta's cells were taken without her knowledge or consent, which would have never happened in the modern day. Pharmaceutical companies that cloned and sold her cells made millions, but to this day her family remains in poverty. Why isn't Henrietta widely known of? At the time, black patients had an inferior status to white ones. When cells were taken from black patients, they were marked with their abbreviated name only. This is why Henrietta's cells were known only as HeLa for many years, causing the person behind the cells to be left out of textbooks and excluded from the benefits that came with her contribution. Although Henrietta was an ordinary woman, her contribution was extraordinary, and is why she should be remembered as a hero of science.